The king's heart is like channels of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he wishes. Every man's way is right in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the hearts. To do righteousness and justice is desired by the Lord more than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked, is sin. The plans of the diligent lead surely to advantage, but everyone who is hasty comes surely to poverty. The acquisition of treasures by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor, the pursuit of death. The violence of the wicked will drag them away, because they refuse to act with justice. But the way of a guilty man is crooked. But as for the pure, his conduct is upright. It is better to live in a corner of a roof than in a house shared with a contentious woman. The soul of the wicked drives evil. His neighbor finds no favor in his eyes. When the scoffer is punished, the naive becomes wise. But when the wise is instructed, he receives knowledge. The righteous one considers the house of the wicked, turning the wicked to ruin. He who shuts his ear to the cry of the poor will also cry himself and not be answered. A gift in secret subdues anger, and a bribe in the bosom strong wrath. The exercise of justice is joy for the righteous, but it is terror to the workers of iniquity. A man who wanders from the way of understanding will rest in the assembly of the dead. He who loves pleasure will become a poor man. He who loves wine and oil will not become rich. The wicked is a ransom for the righteous, and the treacherous is in the place of the upright. It is better to live in a desert land than with a contentious and vexing woman. There is precious treasure and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man swallows it up. He who pursues righteousness and loyalty finds life, righteousness, and honor. A wise man scales the city of the mighty and brings down the stronghold in which they trust. He who guards his mouth and his tongue guards his soul from troubles. Proud, haughty, scoffer are his names, who act with insolent pride. The desire of the sluggard puts him to death, for his hands refuse to work. All day long he is craving, while the righteous gives and does not hold back. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination. How much more when he brings it with evil intent? A false witness will perish, but the man who listens to the truth will speak forever. A wicked man displays a bold face, but as for the upright, he makes his way sure. There is no wisdom and no understanding and no counsel against the Lord. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but victory belongs to the Lord. Thank you for watching this video. I pray that you were blessed by the reading of the scripture. I want to encourage you that if you gathered with multiple people, that each one of you pick a verse from this chapter. Pick that verse that was highlighted to you, the one that stood out, and discuss it. What is the Lord saying through this verse? How is it speaking to you? I also want to encourage you that you can do this every month. Because there's 31 chapters in Proverbs, at the end of the month, you can start over. And every time you visit these chapters, I guarantee you, you'll find something new to talk about. It's life changing. We have done this as a family for about two years or so, and we've seen a change in our mindset, how we look at wisdom, how we look at foolishness, how we look at righteous living. It's a complete character change for sure. The whole point is to get it in you, not just to go through it as a, as a checklist, but get it in you and live it out. So again, I hope that you are blessed by these videos. Share this with your friends and your family. Let's get the word out there. Come on. Thank you again in Jesus' name.